Nitrous oxide was first discovered by scientist Joseph Presley in 1772. It wasn't until the 19th century when Sir Humphrey Davy discovered the gas's more recreational purposes. Laughing gas is used as an anaesthetic by dentists and in some cases is given during childbirth. However, statistics show that laughing gas is the 14th most used drug globally, indicating that a large proportion is used recreationally. The drug can give a short sense of euphoria, auditory and visual distortion, as well as a difficulty to think straight. The short intense state of euphoria can be an addictive high and hence the reason why some people call the drug hippie crack. Nitrous oxide outcompetes oxygen for the binding site to cytochrome C, an enzyme found in the mitochondria. This can cause a drastic drop in energy levels as well as oxygen. The low oxygen levels can lead to a condition known as hypoxia. High levels of nitrous oxide can combine with superoxides, which form peroxynitrite, a potent cytotoxic and pro-inflammatory molecule which can cause extensive damage to neurons which help transport signals around the brain and body. Nitrous oxide is exceptionally cold when released from a dispenser. This is why it is important the gas is given time to acclimatise to the room temperature. If not, the cold shock can travel to the vagus nerve when consumed. The nerve supplies blood to the lungs and the heart. The cold shock can slow the blood flow to the heart which can cause serious complications. Regular use can lead to deficiency in vitamin B12 as well as reduction in the formation of white blood cells. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.